calling that plan a budget for better America. Our Washington Bureau reporter Samantha Jo Roth has been digging through this document and she's joining us live now at 5.05. So SJ, what is the likelihood this will make it through Congress? Veronica, here on Capitol Hill, Democrats who control the U.S. House of Representatives say the president's budget proposal is dead on arrival. This essentially is just a White House wish list that even Republicans say is a starting out point for negotiations. This isn't necessarily the budget that will pass through the Congress, but it, it's, it, it's an indicator of where he wants to go. It's an early spring. Ritual. President Trump's yearly budget is delivered to Capitol Hill. This time, the proposal includes a request for $8.6 billion to build a barrier more than 700 miles long along the southern border and a boost in defense spending more than $750 billion. The number one job of the federal government is to keep us safe. That's what the president's looking to do. Democratic leaders say the president won't get that wall money. Some are concerned about the steep cuts to domestic programs. The budget really doubles down on policies that take away food assistance and health coverage and housing from struggling people. Amid cuts to basically every government department, it slashes funding for environmental protection and energy. I think that is reflective of the policies he's pursued, where he's walked away from important uh, climate agreements um, and, and, pushed, uh, and pushed back against uh, really attacking climate change head on. And I think you're going to see from the Florida delegation bipartisan consensus on doing what we need to do for clean water. And you know, let me, let me take a look at exactly how they're looking to tinker with EPA and those regulations. The proposal also asks Congress to fund a space force within the Air Force, expected to cost $72 million in fiscal year 2020 with a 200 person headquarters, which the delegation is lobbying for. There's no better place to have it than Florida where space is just really in our DNA. Now this is just the beginning of a long spending fight expected to last throughout the fall. There are many proposals in this budget that I think Congress has rejected in the past and will reject in the future. Also this week, Congress is expected to reject the president's national emergency, which uses military funding to build the wall. Now the president expected to veto that, send it right back here to Capitol Hill, where they don't have the votes to override him. Reporting live on Capitol Hill, Samantha Jaroth, Spectrum News 9.